Welcome to Wisdom Trek with Gramps. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, and we are on day 2035 of our trek. Establishing good habits is imperative for living a godly life. And one habit that I practice nearly every day of the past 45 plus years of my adult life is to read a chapter in the book of Proverbs that corresponds with the day of the month. This single habit has been the catalyst for gaining wisdom and creating a living legacy. Adopting this habit can do the same for your life. The realization that God's wisdom is the only true wisdom drives me to seek out God's wisdom each day. And there's no better way to do this than to meditate on God's book of wisdom. Wisdom is the final frontier in gaining true knowledge. So we're on our daily trek to create a legacy of wisdom, to seek out discernment and insights, and to boldly grow where few have chosen to grow before. Today I'll read Proverbs chapter 26. The book of Proverbs chapter 26. Honor is no more associated with fools than snow with summer or rain with harvest. Like the fluttering sparrow or a darting swallow, an undeserved curse will not land on its intended victim. Guide a horse with a whip, a donkey with a bridle, and a fool with a rod to his back. Don't answer the foolish arguments of a fool, or you will become as foolish as they are. Be sure to answer the foolish arguments of fools, or they will become wise in their own estimation. Trusting a fool to convey a message is like cutting off one's feet or drinking poison. A proverb in the mouth of a fool is as useless as a paralyzed leg. Honoring a fool is as foolish as tying a stone to a slingshot. A proverb in the mouth of a fool is like a thorny branch brandished by a drunk. An employer who hires a fool or a bystander is like an archer who shoots at random. As a dog returns to its vomit, so a fool repeats his foolishness. There's more hope for fools than for people who think they are wise. A lazy person claims, There's a lion in the road. Yes, I am sure there's a lion out there. As the door swings back and forth on its hinges, so the lazy person turns over in bed. Lazy people take food in their hand, but don't even lift it to their mouth. Lazy people consider themselves smarter than seven wise counselors. Interfering with someone else's arguments is as foolish as yanking a dog's ears. Just as damaging as a madman shooting a deadly weapon is someone who lies to a friend and then says, I was only joking. Fire goes out without wood, and quarrels disappear when gossip stops. A quarrelsome person starts fights as easy as hot embers light charcoal or fire lights wood. Rumors are like dainty morsels. They sink deep into one's heart. Smooth words may hide a wicked heart, just like the pretty glaze that covers a clay pot. People may cover their hatred with pleasant words, but they are deceiving you. They pretend to be kind, but don't believe them. Their hearts are full of many kinds of evil. While their hatred may be concealed by trickery, their wrongdoing will be exposed in public. If you set a trap for others, you will get caught yourself. If you roll a boulder down on others, it will crush you instead. A lying tongue hates its victims, and flattering words cause ruin. And today, as you ponder Proverbs chapter 26, please encourage your friends and family to join us and to come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. And thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, I am your friend, as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal each day. And as we take this trek of life, together... Let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and create a great day every day. See you next time for more Daily Wisdom.